It's Claire. And Mitchell. And we are vlogging. We started in Michigan and we are ending up in Santa, Santa Barbara, Barbara, California. Sunny Santa Barbara, California. Sunny Santa Barbara, much different than our ugly Michigan weather. It's actually been pretty nice though. So. Yeah. But right now, so we're taking a bunch of stops on the way because we wanted to see the country because we haven't been to that many places and driving across country without stopping at any place would be a crime. Yeah, so we're going to Chicago tonight. Reason why we're going to Chicago is, so if you ever go to Chicago, you need to do the Sunset Cruise. It is the most beautiful thing ever. Yes, we did it last summer, we loved it. And we had a Groupon for it that expires in August because we used the wrong Groupon, long story short. And so we're using it tonight because I redeemed it correctly this time. Yeah, Groupon can't scam us in our I know, yeah, last time it was a whole ordeal but it was the best experience of our entire relationship, I would say. Ah, uh, yeah. It was, when, it was when I we started dating. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, pr I proposed to Claire to be my girlfriend. Aww. He did, after the sunset cruise. Yeah. So we're doing that again tonight. Um, hopefully gonna get some good food, hang out, chill. And I don't really know if I'm gonna break this up into multiple vlogs, because we're going to a lot of places. I so think I it's gotta be broken up. We, gotta, we got a lot of stuff to do. We're two weeks. Yeah. I know, we're two, it's a two week two road two trip. Hours. Yeah. We're doing a road trip two weeks, cross country, stopping at Five locations. Five. Yeah. Yeah, five different locations all across the country. Have a lots of variety here. Something for everyone, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Um hopefully you guys follow along. Well, yeah, we'll see if I break this up or not. Depending on how much footage I get, I'm new at this whole vlogging thing. But yeah, I'm gonna try and document as much as I can because it's a once in a lifetime journey until we have to drive it back. We made it to Chicago. Look at our view out of our window. It's so beautiful. There's like a, here, let me show you. There's like a rooftop pool over here. And that's where I want to be. I don't know how to zoom. Zooming, zooming, zooming. Yeah, it's very fun. But yeah, I just got ready. I'm wearing. This cute little set. We're kind of in a time crunch because we need to get dinner and then we have our sunset cruise at like seven-ish. Yeah, so we're about to go run and get dinner. Um, we're going to like a pub across the street because it has like everything. And I really want a burger, so I'll probably get a burger there. And then we go to our sunset cruise. I'm so excited. I want to show you guys a room tour, so I'll do that right now. Welcome to my hotel room. We have all the amenities here. We have bed most important very aesthetic bed i mean i want this like kind of headboard whenever i get a house i really like this i know charlie d'amelio has this too can we get a painting like that a painting like this yes maybe if you want to paint it so then we have the shower and the shower is like see-through you can like bring around the curtain or whatever but i think it's so cool it really opens up the space then we have like tv basic this fun little circle mirror, that cabinet that has random things that you have to pay for. And then over here, we have full length mirror. Mm. And then here's the bathroom. It's kind of messy because I just did my makeup, but it has this like circle mirror, which is like great for photos. I just post an Instagram story with it. Done. Then they have this cool thing. I don't even know what it's this is, but. It's cool, I don't know, I like it. Then, bathroom, that's pretty much it. Such a pretty hotel, we're staying at the EMC2. EMC squared, it's like squared. Albert, Albert Einstein's equation. Yeah, it's like a Marriott hotel. Super pretty and super excited, so let's go to dinner. And it is Shalapin, capital S. Here, wait, we'll show you guys, everyone. Shalapin. Don't worry, we're 
we're staying six feet apart. We're in our little corner right, right here. No one nice. I'm, I'm not allowing anyone to sit next to us. We're no, staying nobody. in our own COVID safe bubbles. And we're vaccinated, so it doesn't matter. But. Okay, so we just got back from the Sunset Cruise and it was so amazing. It was a dance party, we had a lot of fun on it. It was a straight up rave. Yeah, it was better than the first time we went on it. It was a lot of fun. A lot of people dancing. Good memories. But on our way back, we were super dehydrated. So we went to 7-Eleven and we found the Liquid Death. I've seen it on like um, Cody Ko's podcast and yeah, stuff. They all drink seen. this. And we're like, we want to try it. It's just a, it's like a, a water, like a normal bottled water. But canned. Yeah. So. Get the crack. Do it. Ooh. Try it. It's weird. You're expecting something different out of a can. I mean, it's good water. I think it's really good. It's good water. I'm expecting something like fizzy though. It's weird that it's flat. I kind of like how it it doesn't seem too cold because the can's so cold. I do like drinking water out of a can though. That's nice. Would you drink this over a bottle <laughs> of like Dasani? Oh yeah, a thousand times. Smart, smart water? A thousand times. Uh, yeah, I mean I don't like how small it is. It is pretty small. But like if I were to like have like a like a water with like lunch or something, I would have that. But like a a fat bottle, I'll go with like Evian. Yeah. Evian, Evian's the stuff. I like Dasani, but favorite. then I found out it wasn't real water, so now I'm just kind of in a state of limbo. <laughs> I've always hated Dasani. Aquafina. Dasani's always my favorite. Aquafina second. Oh, uh, it's actually Smart Water second. Aquafina third. Well, now I got a coconut water because I felt dehydrated and I wanted to be amped up for a long drive tomorrow. We have to wake up at 6 a.m. probably. Yeah, 6 leave by 7. Leave by 7. Me fired up. Fired up at 6 a.m. Yeah, we'll check back in then. We're this probably is... going to go to bed like really soon. Yeah. It's like, I, I'm it's not even that late, but we're tired. It's 10.30 actually. Yeah. It's kind of late. I'm dead tired though. Yeah. <laughs> Got the toasted cheeses. Yeah, we're gonna snack. Probably shower and hit the hay. So, these guys, I'll check in tomorrow. Hello, everyone, and welcome to day two of the road trip. We left Chicago at like 7 a.m. this morning to start driving to Denver. It's a 14 hour drive. We've driven a little bit of it so far. We still have like nine hours left, and we've been driving for so long. It's 1.15 right now. We just stopped for lunch. We got Panera and we got gas. Yeah, I will check in with you guys in a second. I think we're about to do a QA. and I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions. Well, me and Mitchell questions because I don't know. I think Q&As are fun in vlogs and I feel like that's what people do. So we're going to do it. I'll cut to it in a second. All right, Q&A time. We got a lot of good questions here. I'm very excited. Mitchell's ready. Oh wait, so uh, the first one, more for me than you, but it says, when did you start influencing on social media? So I started influencing probably like freshman, sophomore year of college, so like two-ish years ago. Um, yeah, I just started like, I didn't start doing it seriously till um, quarantine, but I was doing like mini brand deals and stuff like that with like random companies. Um, just through college, like ambassador programs. But then in quarantine, I was kind of bored and I was like, why not start posting all the time? Because I was bored and wanted to take photos. So that's how I started. And then just kind of kept going from there. Second question. Which three online clothing stores do you like the most? We'll do wait, can I, wait, can I guess? Can I guess? Oh yeah, I guess. Favorite? Okay, the camera fell. I'm back now. Um... Yes, yeah, so you said Princess Polly. Princess, Princess Polly, Polly would, be my would definitely place. be one of mine. I love Princess Polly. They always have, they always have simple pieces, but they always have a little flair to them. Never too simple. Little pop. Yes. Then what would you say my last one is? Uh, maybe something like ASOS. Mm, 
Yeah, I guess. I ASOS mean, has a good variety. What would you say is your, your third one? Third fit? Uh, I'd probably say Glassons just because oh, I really like their denim. Glasses. Their denim fits me really well. Glassons is like a newer one. I started like shopping from them like this year. I feel like they've really elevated their game this year and they have a lot of cool pieces and they're always dropping new ones, which is exciting too. I feel like every month they have like a piece that goes low key, like viral and that everyone needs. Like that cutout dress, I, they were literally the first people I saw that had that, like, you know, like the top cutout. Maybe I'll, I'll insert a photo right here. Yeah, that, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I feel like they really started that trend because I didn't see it anywhere else before. I could be so wrong now. Um, ASOS gets an honorable mention though. Yeah. ASOS has had fun pieces. Cloud sweater that we love. Oh, yeah. Matching cloud sweaters. Love Those the are cloud very sweater. fun. Um, okay, this one. So if you could be any dinosaur, which one would you be? <laughs> Is that a question for both of us? Yeah. yeah. I would say a velociraptor. But actually, I learned the other week, someone was telling me that velociraptors, like that you see in like Jurassic Park, those actually aren't velociraptors, they're like something else. Apparently velociraptors are like, like two feet tall, they're like little baby ones, but... Velociraptor. The, the directors thought it would be more interesting to make them bigger, but they're like smart. They're like, they're like dolphins, dinosaurs, they can talk to each other. I have vibe with that. I would be like that, like, little dino one. I don't even know what it's called, but they're like small and they run around. Like the little, the little green ones? Have you seen Jurassic Park or no? I don't think you have. No, I don't think I have. Which one are you thinking of? I just feel like I'd want to be like a little... Like a little baby one? Yeah, like a baby dinosaur that could just like mind its own business and run around. Yeah, I see and that. And not I see that get pretty. eaten by the big ones. I see that. I'd want to be like a very, not very threatening one. I wouldn't want to be like a T-Rex or anything that's too much for me. I think it'd also be fun to be, I think it's a bronchiosaurus, one of the gigantic ones that just no one fucks with. Are those bigger than T-Rex? Yeah, they like eat, they eat like the leaves off of trees. Like oh, the, the ones with the long ones. necks. Okay, yeah. I would want to be one of those too. Yeah, because I don't, I don't think. You don't eat anyone, they probably I, don't eat yeah, you. Yeah, I don't think anyone messes with them. Yeah, I vibe with that. Alright, that, I'll lock in that answer since I can't even think of the name of the small dinosaur that I would want to be. Um, what is one place that you wish to travel one day? This one, I want to say at the same time. Yeah. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Greece. Greece. Yeah. yeah. We both really want to go to Greece. Greece is like goals. Yeah, I think that's like... Why do you want to go to Greece? I just think it's gorgeous. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, that's kind of the same reason I want to go. It just looks pretty. Yeah, it just looks really pretty. Like, cute water, cute little like... I don't know, buildings. I think it, the architecture there is like really pretty and cool. Blue ass water. Blue ass water. I got the blue ass water out there. That's what I want. What is your favorite and least favorite summer trends? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I would say my favorite is, Ooh, this is like hard. Oh, okay, so my favorite summer trend is definitely crochet. I love the crochet. She does, she does crochet, crochet everywhere. I'm all right. I really want that long sleeve crochet shirt that everyone wears. It's like striped, but I don't. I know it's like two hundred dollars, and I cannot get myself to pay two hundred dollars for a crochet shirt. So either I'm gonna learn how to make it myself, or like have someone make it for me. I don't know. You could learn. I feel like I could learn. Next question: What is your love language? Mine. Sure. We'll both answer it. Um, I like words of affirmation, you know that? Yeah. Um, You're a big words of affirmation guy. I like touch, too. Physical touch? Yeah. Yeah. Touch. Mine's uh, quality time and um, acts of service. Yeah. Those three <laughs> acts of service. That's what it's called. I don't know. Serve you. Yeah, I know. Acts of service. I like that. How do you stay productive and motivated? Um, so I feel like this one just kind of is based off of your personality. I'm definitely someone who can't just be sitting around all day. Like, I have to be kind of productive and have a plan for my day. I like getting things done and kind of having a list and going through them. But obviously I also have, like, days where I do absolutely nothing and just sit and, like, watch Netflix and stuff. Um, I feel like a way to be productive, yeah, just making, like, lists, um like setting an alarm in the morning and like getting out of bed at like a certain time whether it be like like 
maybe like 6 a.m., 10 a.m., I don't know, but it helps for me just like getting out of bed, like I would say like before noon and not letting myself like sleep in too much, um, and just getting something done in the morning that makes you feel good, like if you journal, or if you make yourself like a nice breakfast, or meditate, or do yoga, or just like something, like I like to work out in the mornings just to make yourself feel productive, you'll feel better throughout the day, I've noticed, because days where I like just don't really do anything that I sleep in, I feel like I kind of wasted the day, which is okay sometimes, but you can't do that every day. Do you have any advice for the people? Um, find something you love doing and you'll be more productive. That is yeah. true. Yeah. If you like doing something, it'll be a lot easier to get it done. I feel like especially with like Instagram, like posting every day and like staying motivated to post every day. I think just since I love it so much and I love updating you guys and informing you guys about my life and I just think it's so fun and exciting and I love interacting with you guys and like replying to DMs and stuff. It really like thrills me. So I feel like it's not that hard to, and you love doing to be motivated. It. Yeah, yeah. It's not that hard yeah. to be motivated to do it. So yeah, it kind of depends. Like if you want to be motivated to like work out or something, you just really have to find it in yourself and find something. Okay, this one's more for me, I guess, but which brands did you work with when you first started out, like, influencing? So, my first ever, like, collab that I can really think of, I did, like, a Tinder U, um, like, college ambassador partnership thing. I talked about it on my TikTok. I, like, did a video on it. I, like, go through all the different brand ambassador programs. Um, I really liked that one just because it kind of made me post more. You had to post twice a week. Not really about Tinder. Like, it didn't have to be anything. It was just kind of motivating you to, like, post more and be more engaged with your audience, which I really liked. And it was before I was even, like, wanting to be an influencer or anything. It was just, like, I just signed up for it because it seemed fun. They host events and stuff on campus, which I liked. And I wanted to get more involved. So I did that, and I really liked that program. And then I also did, like, a Pandora campaign, which was one of my first campaigns which was really cool um just because I've like always shopped at Pandora and stuff um then I did like a My Clarins one it's like a skincare brand which was cool as well those were like my first ones but then I like went through a period where I didn't do any like those were all sophomore year of college then junior year I didn't like do anything at all so it kind of just like comes and goes in waves it wasn't until after quarantine is when I like started actually like pursuing it and like posting stuff more regularly on Instagram. What's the best way to keep your mental health good? Oh, I feel like this one, one, yeah, it's a good question. I feel like it's hard. I mean... It depends person to person for sure. Yeah. And just, like, what you're going through. Like, obviously, I have, like, periods where it's really hard for me to keep my mental health good, and other times it's, like, pretty easy if I'm, like, distracted and excited about different things going on. I would say, though, if I am in a rut... Once again, like, just getting myself out of bed really helps because I'm the type of person that can just stay in bed all day, like, watching YouTube and TikTok and stuff. Yeah, and sometimes you need to be dragged out of bed. Yeah, sometimes I, like, can't get out of bed and stuff, which is totally okay. Some days you need that time. But in order to keep my mental health good, I like to... Yeah, journaling really helps me, too. Like, I like to write down things I'm grateful for, um, like, manifestations that I hope to accomplish, whether it be, like next like week month year five years whatever just writing that down and kind of documenting it and then when that stuff does come true it's crazy like you feel really accomplished you feel like you were like putting in effort to do something good for the universe um so journaling I really like um going on walks really helps me too like putting on a podcast and just going for a walk really helps just shut my brain off I love listening to um like, I like listening to Call Her Daddy. That's a fun podcast because it just makes me laugh. Um, I really like Megan Rink's podcast. Um, yeah, th I, ooh, I really like Chicks in the Office. I just started getting into that. But that's more of one I like to watch. I like to watch a lot of podcasts now. Um, so, yeah, even throwing that on and just, like, cleaning your room, having a clean space also really helps with my mental health. If my room is messy, I feel all over the place and disorganized, and even just cleaning in itself is very therapeutic for me, so, like, dusting everything, getting a good, like, Clorox wipe, and it just makes you kind of reset and feel better about your space and your area. I feel like my setting is very important to how good my mental health is.
It's and like a physical representation of your mind. Mm-hmm. It's cluttered and dirty. Your mind will probably be cluttered. Yeah. If all else fails, just go get some good food and watch a movie and let yourself feel your feelings and then next morning try to start fresh. Tropical or city vacation? Tropical. Definitely. Yeah, I would say tropical too. Way better. Way less stressful. Yeah, I was just talking to my parents about this, how my family doesn't really like to do, not that we don't like to do them, we just never really do tropical vacations. We always go to like different cities, like we'll do like the Chicago, Seattle, New York, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I've been really craving like a tropical vacation where I could see like a palm tree or something, be up by the water, yeah. which I guess is what we're doing. Yeah. I mean, since we're going to California, but like... Even going to, like, the Bahamas or something. It's something I really wanted to do. I've never been to the Bahamas. So that'd be fun. Yeah. I just, like, laying on the beach. Just yeah. Relax. Having nothing to do. Yeah. I feel like when you're on a city vacation, you feel like you need to be running around more yeah. and, like, seeing sites, like, you know, like, shopping or, like, seeing different buildings or different landmarks and stuff. Whereas a tropical vacation, your only responsibility is to relax. You gotta chill. That's all you gotta do. You have nothing else to do, which is really refreshing. I think that's what a vacation should be like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this one's for you. What is your favorite and least favorite qualities I have? Oh, boy. Start with maybe least favorite, just to get out of the way. Least favorite. You, uh, You have very set opinions and everything and it's very hard for you to give stuff a chance like my music for example like you you'll just like assume that you don't like something before trying it and it's hard for your it's hard for you to break that and like be open to trying trying new stuff yes yeah i'm very stuck in my ways yes. not very go with the flow yes which i try and i try and break you down yeah so, sometimes I'm it works meeting a and then and then you're like oh yeah it's a... yeah yeah i'm trying better Oh, I know. Favorite. Favorite. Which, which should I choose from? I love how passionate you are. You're very, very passionate about everything you do. I am. You're very into everything you're doing, which is something I can take a page out of your book. You just go like 110% at everything you're doing. Especially loving me, 110, 115. All in, baby. Want me to do yours? I guess I could. Yeah. Might as well just do both. Okay. Um, my least favorite is how slow you are. I knew, I knew you were saying that. Yeah. That's one of my favorite qualities, though. I just. That's your favorite thing about yourself. No, I mean not favorite, but I do love that about myself. I just take, take it slow. Don't need to rush. I know you don't like that. The lady just waved at us. That was that was so cute. Um. Uh, yeah. I, I'm a really fast moving person. Like I need to like get up and go once I want to go. Like we'd be like watching a movie and I'm like, okay, let's go get food. Then he takes like 20 minutes to get ready. Not 20, but like 10. And I'm ready in like two. I don't know. Just different. Um, something I'm learning to love. Uh, oh, and then my favorite, um, I love how just like, just chill you are. How nothing gets to you. How you're very go with the flow. And I feel like that's something I definitely need to learn from you because I get stressed out at the, like the minorest inconvenience and I completely shut down. But you are like really good at like taking whatever life throws at you and just like throwing it back and putting a cherry on top. Yeah, yeah. That was a good way to put it. That was, that was excellent. <laughs> I don't know where that come from. <laughs> um, how long have you two been together? Uh, a year and months almost yeah we can like round to three months a year and two and a half yeah yes yes okay so this one's for you is it true that guys like flowers too girls love flowers i mean the the gesture is nice i mean i would if you you never even got me flowers so i i I haven't i don't i don't know if you would like them or not if you would like want them i would definitely i would definitely love them if you got them but like I think I think guys would definitely they'd appreciate the gesture. Yeah. A thousand percent. If it was like, I don't know what the guy equivalent of flowers is. I've told her this before. Like if she got me like like a set of golf balls, that would, whew, that would that would blow me away. Golf balls. But I it, I guess it changes from guy to guy. I don't know. 
Yeah, like I feel like a, some guys would like flowers. Some guys would be like whatever. Like a fresh pack of Nike dry fits. Oh, some <laughs> guys. Some yeah. Some guys would love that. Flowers, I don't know, but the gesture, the gesture they would love. Yeah, I think the gesture. So yeah. I feel like it depends on guys. Okay, so that was probably all the questions that we're gonna answer because we're gonna pull off. So I can go pee because we've been driving for a while. Yeah, we have actually. Um, but yeah, I'll probably update you guys once we get into Denver and then wrap up this vlog. I don't know. We're not gonna get there till like 9:30, so we're probably gonna be exhausted. But we're gonna be gassed. yeah, hopefully we see something cool like on, during the sunset. So I'll show you guys. This So we made it to Denver. Well, we're like 20, 22 minutes out. Won't focus. Yeah, we're 22 minutes out of Denver. And we are squeegeeing the windshield for one last time because bugs have just been attracted to us today. I don't really know. We've cleaned this four times so far today. And literally after we just cleaned this one, five minutes later, it was completely covered in bugs. I don't know what it is about Denver or Colorado in general, but they just like bugs. But yeah, I will update you guys when we get into our hotel. We were looking at it online. We're staying at the Mint House Denver, and it looks insanely nice. So I'm really excited to see it um, and show you guys. This We watched the sunset tonight, and it was so pretty over the Rocky Mountains. Um, yeah, it was such a vibe. Really peaceful. And the drive wasn't even that bad. I've never driven 14 hours straight before. Grant, I wasn't driving the entire time, but it didn't feel that bad. I felt really good the entire time. I'm feeling refreshed. I took like a mini one hour nap and just switched off. I literally listened to podcasts the entire time I drove. Um, a lot of don't blame me. I really love that podcast, but yeah. I'll check in later. Okay, it's literally hours later, but we finally got food. It's literally... 12 22 right now we've been waiting for this for so long so hungry when did we eat last we ate last at like noon i think yeah 12 hours yeah so i think we're gonna eat this and go to bed we're probably signing off our place is insane though excited to give you a tour tomorrow i'm hungry all right bye